Number one are under the sink storage. This I actually just perfected a couple of weeks ago and I honestly don't know how I survived without this. So I added in four different containers. They're all from the container store. The two at the bottom pull out. They each have like their own sections within the bigger boxes. The one on the left is actually all my mini travel items, which is so handy when I have to go on a trip, hopefully very soon. I can just grab things and it's just much quicker and easier. Then on the right side, I have my cotton pads, extra products, and so, so much better than what I had before. So I'll be sure to link these exact container store items down below and definitely check them out if you also have a similar under sink situation. Okay, and then number two are over the toilet shelving unit. So I actually did not know these existed until I found it in Target. The only storage that was in our bathroom was under the sink and we do have some shelving behind the mirror, but obviously I wanted to store our towels and I wanted to pop a plant in here somehow. So this shelving unit was the absolute perfect solution. As you can see, we have our towels up there. We have the plant. It's good for decorative pieces. You could definitely add in more baskets or bins on top to have even more storage and really conceal things. A great way to use that space above the toilet. Number three, this new cabinet unit I got for the corner of our bathroom. So this is also actually a new addition. I work in this like influencer world. So obviously I do love to try products. I'm obsessed with hair care and skincare. And I always have lots of spare products and I just couldn't really figure out a way to store them well before I found this. It's actually from Amazon. It was really well priced. The quality is very good. Wasn't too hard to put together. It has shelves on the inside so I have everything in categories and then on the outside there is a few open shelves as well and I just tried to kind of color coordinate those <laughs> to keep it as nice as possible. This really has made a huge difference. It fits into the corner perfectly. It's very very narrow so it is a piece that would suit a lot of different spaces and another piece I a thousand percent recommend. I actually do have a more in-depth video all about the bathroom makeover that I did and the storage solutions. I also show behind the mirror and the shower and a few other little bits and pieces. So if you do want to watch that, I'll link it down below. Okay, and then for number four, I have moved us into the bedroom and number four is a shoe wall. And if you're like me, if you have maybe like a smaller bedroom, not that much closet space, but also a lot of shoes, and a big love for shoes, this is honestly the best solution. I had something kind of similar in my last apartment, but this I think is actually better what I've done here. It's just Ikea shelves. I initially actually started off with just five for my shoes and I recently added in an extra one on top for some of my bags. I do also have another separate video on how we kind of constructed these and I show you the whole process and the exact shelves and everything. I will link them down below too, but if you wanna watch a separate video, I'll also link that. Number five is shelf dividers and as you can see I'm here in front of my wardrobe. My wardrobe isn't too bad. There is a decent amount of space but it definitely needed some tweaks and just some things to perfect it and these shelf dividers are honestly such a godsend. So as you can see I fold my trousers. I wish I had room to hang them as well but unfortunately it's New York and I don't. So I fold all my trousers. I try and keep them as like color coordinated as possible and then to ensure that I keep them really tidy and to keep the kind of piles separate I just insert these shelf dividers and it has made such a difference. I have have to tidy this area so much less that it really keeps them in place and also of course it looks really nice. Okay this is a very very tight corner where I am right now so I have to hold the camera and show you like this but number six is this sunglass holder. Such a simple idea. I got this on Amazon. I had it in my last apartment as well. I'm pretty sure it's technically for nail varnishes like you know when you go to a salon and they have all the nail varnishes lined up. That's what it's actually for, but it works so perfectly for sunglasses. As you can see, I can fit three in each row. You could probably fit like another one if you want to, like four, just they'll be over each other a little bit, but absolutely perfect for three per row. Next up, the kitchen and organization idea number seven. I have to say the kitchen is probably my favorite area in relation to how I've organized it. We did a bit of a transformation about two, three months ago, and I will link that video down below so you can see the whole thing. But one standout product has been our Lazy Susans, which we have on this shelf 
above the sink. These are the best things ever for utilizing space. You can fit so much on them. They look really slick, really tidy. It just makes you feel very organized, even though it's like the simplest thing ever. It's also great if you're like me and you do have cabinets which are quite high because you're just utilizing all that space. You're not missing out on any. And these aren't too crazy expensive either. I actually want to get more of these for around the apartment if I can find anywhere else to put them. I love them that much. Number eight, Ikea storage bin. So when you walk into our apartment here, we have a big closet right at the front. And my boyfriend Tommy uses this. I store some coats in there. And it's also our closet for all those other bits. We all have them, that random stuff that doesn't really like need a place in the apartment or in your home as such you just need to have it like organized away in some corner so i got these white storage boxes from ikea they're really inexpensive the quality is pretty decent in fairness for the price and we just have them lined up on the top shelf of this closet it's obviously not the most fancy way of doing things but it works really well for us i am actually going to label them all i only have two labels on there right now so ignore that but there will be labels all across we have our bedding in here um spare interior pieces summer clothes like it's just such an easy way to do it and then you could also actually use these storage bins under the bed if you have a couch a sofa that you can fit things under they're really versatile and really handy and yeah i've had these even since our last apartment they're amazing and then last but not least number nine baskets i have an obsession with blankets and obviously we have a cream couch in our apartment so i love to have blankets on the whole time if we're eating or if i have people over or whatever just to protect it so obviously i've got a lot of blankets and instead of just having them thrown around the place i got this basket from serena and lily i actually had wanted this basket for so long it's kind of one that you see a lot on instagram and some people that i follow have it it's so beautiful the quality is amazing a little bit pricey but I will say it's something that I'll have forever so yeah if you have some annoying things that you know you need but you don't want to be on display or like thrown around the place baskets would be your best friend especially for the bedroom as well and that's it guys they are my easy clever organizational ideas that I personally find so helpful in my home I hope you got some ideas